各位观众，大家好，欢迎收看今天英文翻译第十三次播出。今天要谈的翻译方法和策略是解释、补足译法。首先介绍跟我一块主持节目的 Charles 老师。大家好，啊、uh, ，我是 Waiter 的 ，and、uh, let's get going <笑>。好，嗯、uh, ，我们这学期每一周都介绍一种很实用的翻译的方法和策略。呃、uh, ，其实这么多种。同学怎么运用呢 ？Charles, any comments?、Uh, we have learned a lot of methods of、uh, translation, so、uh, students have to use their own judgment in、uh, deciding which is the best for a given passage. Yeah, but like we say, practice makes perfect. <laughs> <laughs> 老师说，同学你要学习判断 judgment 啊，那并不是所有的方法一次通通要用上来。你要判断什么状况下用什么方法，我想只有多练习哈。呃，真的很多能力都是经验和错误的累积。呃，翻译也是一样，翻译能力的获得是要多看看别人的翻译。那同学，你尽量尝试一下，不要怕错嘛。啊、呃，你这样才会累积到经验。今天的呃方法是解释补足译法。那我们先来看看翻译原理 （principles of translation）。在中英翻译呃这个技巧的方法当中，呃，解释补足译法是很重要的，因为各国的语文它当中有很多的词汇都具有文化历史的含义。语言是文化的主要成分之一，那语言更深植于文化的土壤当中，它不停的吸收它的精华，能在文字上做很丰富的展现哈。Charles, what do you think? Uh, there are a lot of differences between、uh, cultures,、uh, so translation is a something of a bridge to cross the gap. And we have expressions from、uh, our history and the Bible and literature and movies and sometimes even pop songs. 嗯，对，老师说哈，其实他也认为中西的文化有很大的差异。那么这条鸿沟呢，在翻译上必须要架个桥哈，那造成一个沟通的管道。对原文，我们需要做若干的解释。嗯，譬如说原文它是出自什么典故？是历史典故吗？是圣经典故？啊，文学名著典故？是什么电影或者流行歌曲呢？这些出处啊，我们都要来做些解释哈。那么各语言的词汇有它的术语啊，有典故，有专有名词，还有略语哈。所以在进行翻译的时候，为了使译文很清楚地表达，那么有些专有名词代表什么意思呢？有些略语是哪几个字的缩写呢？那么这个注释可以提供译文的读者一些文化背景的资料。那么补足的语呢，可以使译文比较容易了解。What do you think? We do need some explanation while translating source text to target text. So if the explanation is short, we can incorporate it into the text. And if if it's long, then we have to separate it and make a note. 嗯哼，老师说我们在解释文字，呃，这个简短的话哈，如果你解释不是很长，你就不妨呢就呃放在译文里面哈。如果念很通顺，那么可以并在译文当中。那如果你解释的文字比较长哈，那你就要在呃翻好之后后面做个注释说明。我们等下举例给大家看。那我们先说有三大类哈，一种是呃专有名词，一个是引用典故，还是略语。我们来看一看一些例子说明。先看专有名词哈，那么英文中许多专有名词还有引申的意思，我们要把它解释哈来说明。呃，例子试试看。Capitol Hill has taken a tougher stance against international terrorist groups. 美国国会已经对国际恐怖团体采取更强硬的态度。我们来注释一下，美国国会位于白宫东边的小山丘上，那 Capitol Hill。呃，可以指国会本身或者建筑物哈。好，下一句。Wall Street hopes new rate cuts will boost stocks. 美国金融中心华尔街希望新的利率调降将振兴股市。因为这个比较短的解释，我们就放在句子里面，不必分开来做注释了。就说美国金融中心华尔街哈。好，下一句我们看看。It may have been Bill Clinton's worst week in the Oval Office. 
这礼拜可能是克林顿总统进入总统办公室以来最头痛的一个礼拜。我们做个注释说哈，这 Oval Office 位于这个白宫的 West Wing 西厢里面，因为它建筑成 Oval 就是椭圆形，所以由此称呼。那么 Oval Office 不但代表房屋的建筑物，也意味着总统的职位。我们做这个解释哈，下面。The news was not enthusiastically received at Downing Street. This news did not receive the warm welcome of the British public. We need to make a correction. Downing Street refers to the Downing Street Hall, which is the official entrance. This refers to the British public or the public. Besides the usual nouns, we need to make a correction or be included in the English language. If it's shorter, the second kind is an expression. We also need to make a correction. 英文用呃，这用典是非常普遍哈。那么典故来自，譬如说是希腊神话啦，或者圣经，或者童话故事、西方文学名著等等，这些出处都需要加以注释哈。那也要说得明它的一些引申的含义。好，我们看例句。The Achilles' heel of the empire was the lack of education. 这个帝国的致命伤在于缺乏教育。我们来注释一下哈 ，Achilles heel， 它是出自希腊神话。阿基里斯呢，幼年时候他的母亲 Thetis 曾经把他浸入冥河，叫 River Styx， 那这个水当中，使他全身刀枪不入。但是因为 Thetis 手握住他的脚踝，所以呃没有沾到水，那么成为全身唯一的致命伤。所以这个 Achilles heel 就是一个致命伤的意思。我们看下一句。The retired minister washed his hands of politics long ago. 退休的部长早就退出政坛了。我们要注释一下什么叫 wash one's hands of。这句语出自新约圣经的马太福音二十七章二十四节。耶稣被呃捕，然后交给比拉多审判。比拉多想要释放耶稣，但群众不肯。比拉多看民众激愤，便拿一盆水在民众面前洗手，说。流着一人的血，罪不在我，你们自己承担吧。那么这段故事后来用来解释一个人不愿涉入某事，不愿承担责任。好，我们把这个背景做一个说明哈。下面 ，Her father is another Shylock。他的父亲是另一个夏洛克。谁是夏洛克呢？我们要做注释哈。夏洛克 （Shylock） 是莎士比亚喜剧《威尼斯商人》（The Merchant of Venice） 中一个放高利贷的。冷酷的犹太人，我们看下面。China stands at the threshold of the new Alice in Wonderland world of market socialism. 中国大陆处在跨入市场社会主义的新迷幻世界。我们来做注释一下 ，Alice in Wonderland 出自童话故事《爱丽丝漫游仙境》，书中的世界充满了荒谬怪诞的事件。词语呢，引申形容梦幻。幻想、不合实际、违背常理等的世界。好，我们看下一句。For hundreds of years, tiny Nepal has been considered as a peaceful Shangri-La. 数百年来，这小国尼泊尔一直被认为是个宁静的世外桃源。我们来做注释 ：Shangri-La 出自小说《失去的地平线》（The Lost Horizon）。书中描写一个遗世独立的人间仙境，称为 Shangri-La（ 香格里拉）。这个典故呢，就指世外桃源、理想的乐园。好，同学，我们先介绍到这里，我们休息一下。好，我们做翻译的时候有些要解释，要补足，对不对？那我们现在看一个略语部分，在英文当中有许多呃缩略哈。那么翻译的时候可以考虑略加注释，使其还原，让读者了解它的意思。我们看一下例子。Service of the MRT systems, Danshui Xindian lines resumed yesterday after the two typhoons damaged lines. 在两个台风肆虐之后，捷运 MRT 及 Mass Rapid Transit 淡水新店线昨日恢复通车。好，我们看下面。Type A was absent 
from the APEC informal summit of heads of states in Shanghai. 在上海举行的亚太经合会 APEC 及 Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation 非正式领袖会议，台湾已经缺席了。我们请看下一个。The EPA says that the sea level will probably rise at least two feet before the year 2100. 美国环保署 EPA 及 Environmental Protection Agency 说，在西元两千一百年以前，海平面会上升至少两英尺。好，下一句。Beijing will be able to absorb more economic resources from Taiwan after WTO entry. 在加入世界贸易组织 WTO 及 World Trade Organization 后，北京将能吸收更多台湾的经济资源。好，下一句。Welcome back, says the MC after the first act. 在节目第一段结束后，节目主持人 MC 及 Master of Ceremonies 说道：“欢迎继续观赏节目。”好，我们看这个略语也是一样哈，譬如说 MC 啦、APEC 啦，这些都是在翻的时候就把它说出来啊。APEC A 是什么意思 ？P 是什么意思啊 ？E 什么意思啊 ？C 什么意思？那就要把它略语翻出来，这样比较清楚，对不对？好，下面看我们的 famous quotations。Janus faced. 两面人，虚伪的，口是心非。我们这个要做注释哈。呃 ，Janus 是古罗马神话中天堂之门的守护神，司管门户。他有两张脸，呃，可以同时注释前面和后方的情形。呃，因为有两张脸，所以 two faced 引申有虚伪之意。好看下一句。The last straw. 导致全面溃败的最后一个因素。我们来做个注释。这句完整说法是 ：It is the last straw that breaks the camel's back. 这是压倒骆驼的最后一根稻草。我们做了解释哈。下面 ，A beam in one's eye. 自己重大的缺点。那这来源是哪里呢？新约马太福音第七章第三节，耶稣训诫门徒，不要论断人，免得自己被论断；不要指责弟兄眼中的木屑。呃，未见自己眼中的良木 ，beams 良木很大的柱子哈。好，那这是我们的中外名言，我们也用了这个呃解释补足的翻译方法。下面看我们的呃绘画的 vocabulary and expressions。Heel of a loaf. 一条面包的头尾部分。Toss out. 丢弃。Presence of mind. 思考能力。Cellophane. 玻璃纸。Sparrow. 麻雀。Hurl. 猛掷。Geese. 鹅，单数是 goose。Picky. 挑剔的。Signal. 讯号。Instinct. 本能。Coffee flavored. 咖啡口味。Lemon juice. 柠檬汁。Additive. 食品添加剂。Unrelated. 无关的。Requirement. 需要，必修课。Credit. 学分。Resolve. 解决 Conflict. 冲突 Sign up. 注册 Snare. 设陷阱捕捉得到 Exchange. 交换 Awkward. 尴尬别扭 Necessarily. 必要的 More than likely. 非常有可能 Performance. 表演 Semester. 学习 Keep up with. 追上 Struggle. 奋斗 Master. 硕士 
doctorate. 博士学位. Settle. 安排好. Sinologist. 汉学家. Adequate. 合格的. 好,这是我们今天的绘画的一些单字。那我们现在看看这绘画的英文部分。They go for those hills. The same one so many people, unlike ourselves, toes out. At least somebody had the presence of mind to pack them in a few cellophane bags, the ones you found on the sidewalk. You saw that, did you? Maybe whoever it was had the same intention. Most likely. But look how the spirals fly off when you hurl pieces their way, whereas the geese walk right up to us. Yet look what picky eaters they are. It's just what nature taught them to do. No surprise there. Some of their kind will get an idea and give a signal to others. Again, by instinct. They're equivalent of ringing a lunch bell. You've already had yours, I suppose. Believe it or not, it wasn't that different from what I'm giving them here and now, except that I washed it down with some coffee-flavored milk. And some of that lemon juice with who knows how many additives. Not much caffeine there. Say, on a totally unrelated subject, I just recall seeing you Friday night. Not last week, but the week before. In the language center over that way. You wanted to take either French or German after learning your foreign language requirements still lack some credits. Yes, it's a matter of taking courses in the right department and resolving the time conflict. Spanish class meets on Thursday when I'm out of town. The French teacher can't sign out enough students. And the German professor, it turns out, is none other than my ex-student from years ago. Who went on to snare his PhD ahead of you. Yes, I heard the exchange between you after he called out your name, making the whole thing somewhat awkward. Not necessarily. I might even welcome the challenge. He recognized me as I was coming down the hall, yet his student as you've more than likely heard, are in their second year. I watch some of their performers from outside of the classroom door. That means you'd have to take two semesters before you could hope to keep up with them. I had to struggle with that for my own masters and hope my doctorate won't require more than one language. It's been settled, don't worry. The Japanese teacher says I can take her second year course with Sinologist Japanese Adequate. Ray set his factory for the first year. Hi, so we will give the meat to Look how they go for those hills. The same ones so many people, unlike ourselves, toes out. At least somebody had the presence of mind to pack them in a few cellophane bags, the ones you found on the sidewalk. You saw that, did you? Maybe whoever it was had the same intention. Most likely. But look how the spirals fly off when you hurl pieces their way, whereas the geese walk right up to us. Yet look what picky eaters they are. It's just what nature taught them to do. No surprise there. Some of their kind will get an idea and give a signal to others. Again, by instinct. They're equivalent of ringing a lunch bell. You've already had yours, I suppose. Believe it or not, it wasn't that different from what I'm giving them here and now except that I washed it down with some coffee-flavored milk. And some of that lemon juice with who knows how many additives. Not much caffeine there. Say, on a totally unrelated subject, I just recall seeing you Friday night. Not last week, but the week before. In the language center over that way. You wanted to take either French or German after learning your foreign language requirements still lack some credits. Yes, it's a matter of taking courses in the right department 
and resolving the time conflict. Spanish class meets on Thursday when I'm out of town. The French teacher can't sign up enough students. And the German professor, it turns out, is none other than my ex-student from years ago. Who went on to snare his PhD ahead of you. Yes, I heard the exchange between you after he called out your name, making the whole thing somewhat awkward. Not necessarily. I might even welcome the challenge. He recognized me as I was coming down the hall, yet his student, as you've more than likely heard, are in their second year. I watch some of their performers from outside of the classroom door. That means you'd have to take two semesters before you could hope to keep up with them. I had to struggle with that for my own masters and hope my doctorate won't require more than one language. It's been settled, don't worry. The Japanese teacher says I can take her second year course with Sinologist Japanese Adequate, Ray said his factory for the first year. 好，我们看一个叫 awkward 的，很别扭，很尴尬。当你的学生比你先拿到 PhD， 对不对？然后做你的老师，所以这个状况非常 awkward， 很尴尬啊。好，来，我们呃先看今天的问题部分。Where does this conversation occur? A public park, B railway depot, C television studio, D university campus. D university campus. Question two, when does this dialogue take place? Early afternoon, late afternoon, early morning, late evening. Early afternoon. What do we learn about these two speakers? They are on special diets. They attend graduate school. They have traveled in Europe and Asia. They like to raise animal pets. They attend the graduate school. Which does the man give the birds to eat? Seeds, worms, bread, fish. Bread. 好，同学，你是不是都做对了？那我们呃今天的部分，希望你们做的呃都答对了哈。我们先看下面 ，Let's practice 句型翻译练习部分。Look how they go for those heels. 看他们是怎么抢面包的。我们要学 go for 竞争以得到某物。共有两百个人争夺这个工作。There were two hundred people going for the job. There were two hundred people go for the job. 哪边有错？呃、uh, ，first one sounds like Chinglish. 嗯哼，这个 you, you need the going for because it it modifies people. So 对，因为这个已经有 work 动词，不能有另外的动词，要用 ing 形式哈。好，我们另外翻翻看。A couple of hundred applicants vied for this position. 好 ，vied for 是争夺的意思哈。看下一句，英国足球队将再次争夺今年的冠军。The English football team will again going for the championship this year. The English football team will again be going for the championship this year. 好，哪边有错 ？All right, you have to have a copula there, or it sounds like Chinglish.、Mm -hmm. So the second one's right. 好，要这个呃、uh, ，again be 在那边不能没有 be 哈。好，我们看怎么翻。另外翻翻看。The British soccer team hopes to win top honors this year as well. 好，冠军是 win top honors， 也可以这样说哈。好，下面。Believe it or not, it wasn't that different from what I'm giving them here and now, except that I washed it down with some coffee-flavored milk. 信不信由你。那与我此时此刻给他们吃的没什么不同，除了我配着咖啡口味的牛奶吞下肚。我们要学 be different from something 与什么不同。克里斯与他的哥哥相当的不一样。Chris is very different from his brother. Chris is very different from his brother. 好，哪边有错？呃、uh, ，you need an adjective here, not a noun. So the second one's right. 嗯哼，要形容词是 different， 这 different 是名词不对哈。好，我们看另外的翻法。Chris and his brother are hardly alike. 啊，几乎不相像 ，hardly 几乎不的意思哈。看下一句。这位学生与其他人很不一样。
The student is very different from other. The student is very different from others. 哪边有错？ Uh, we need the singular, or the the plural here. The singular,、uh, you'd have to say the other. 嗯哼，要用复数叫 others。如果单数是 the other， 来另外翻翻看。This student proves quite unlike others. 好 ，unlike 是不像的意思哈。好，我们看下一句。You wanted to take either French or German after learning your foreign language requirement still lacks some credits. 当你得知你的外语还缺少一些学分后，你想要修习法语或是德语。我们来学 either 什么 or 两者中的之一。你要不去找份工作，要不就回学校念书。Either you find a job or you go back to school. Either you find a job nor you go back to school. 哪边有错？呃、uh, ，nor is used with neither.、Mm -hmm. So. The first one has to be right. 对，我们 either 用 or， neither 才配 nor 哈，就不能搞混了。好，另外翻翻看。You must resume your studies unless you can land employment. 好 ，resume 就是重新再找到一个意思哈。好，那我们下面看另外一句。你可以现在离开，或是等到演讲结束，都取决于你。You can leave now or after the speech. It's up to you. You can leave now or after the speech. It's up to you. 哪边有错啊？呃、uh, ，the first one to make it right, you'd have to have a semicolon instead of a comma. 嗯哼，这是两句话，同学你看看。如果你第一句用呃这个分号也可以，但不能用逗点，要用句号分开哈。好，另外翻翻看。Either wait to hear the speech or vamoose, whichever you want. 好，我们看下一句。He went on to snare his PhD ahead of you. 他在你之前拿到博士学位。我们学 ahead of 在什么之前？在我们前面那台跑车突然加速。我们看跑车是 race car， 加速的 speed up。The race car is ahead of us, suddenly speeded up. The race car ahead of us, suddenly speeded up. 好，我们看哪边有错。Uh, the first one's Chinglish because we don't need a copula here. Mm-hmm. Here are two verbs, is and speeded, so one verb is enough. Is not needed. Okay. Let's look at the next. The race car in front of us abruptly accelerated. Okay. Good. Let's look at the next sentence.约翰前面那位女人是他的母妈妈。The woman ahead of John is his mother. The woman in ahead of John is his mother. 好，哪边有错 ？Second one's definitely Chinglish. 好，我们不能说 in ahead of， 要说 in front of。好，另外翻翻看。John's mother is the lady in front of him. 对，这样对了哈。好，我们看下面。That means you'd have to take two semesters before you could hope to keep up with them. 那意味着在希望赶上他们之前，你必须修两学期的课。我们来学 keep up with something 或 somebody 赶上某人或某事。他打算用功念书以赶上其他学生。He planned to keep up with other students by studying hard. He planned to keep up with other students by studying hardly. 好，哪边有错 ？Second one gets the wrong meaning because it means almost not studying. 对 ，hardly 几乎不变，几乎不学习了，意思错了。好，另外翻翻看。He intended to burn the midnight oil so as to keep pace with classmates. 好，开夜车 burn the midnight oil. 好，我们今天先做到这里哈。同学，希望你回去好好看一下，把我们今天的一些原理跟实际上一些运用都记牢了。好，下回见啦，拜拜。